Today we review the Z97 X-Power AC motherboard by MSI, the latest in their edition after the M-Power Max motherboard. It also comes at the heavy duty price of $399.99, so we're just very eager to see how exactly this board performs compared to other boards. The front of the board is lined with an X emblem, standing for MSI's X-Power logo. No relation to X-Men. Some of the features that come with the board are adorned on the front cover, highlighting features such as digital power, the 4-way SLI capability with the PEX chipset on the PCIe bus, and the overclocking fan mount, custom to just this board over the Ampower Max Z97. The back of the board features marketing headlines about higher performance, more stability in Prime 95, and outlines the I.O. connector panel of things to come. It's all military this and military that these days, but in all seriousness, it's a great thing to see such promise of good construction from MSI. So let's take a look at exactly what comes in this $399.99 package. You can see the X right away. The accessories are in a bottom box. And now we can begin the fun part of unboxing. Now if I could just get this package open, that would be super great. The package appears to be the MSI 8GB included as part of the Z97 X-Power AC motherboard only. The build on this looks really good, and I am loving it! Good job, MSI. Next up is the Wi-Fi and BT module installation guide. Nicely wrapped for... I don't know why. Also included are these V-Check cables for someone with a multimeter to connect their ports onto the V-Check to get specific readings from the motherboard directly. So here you can see the V-Check cables. Let's see what else we have. We have this MSI OC series faceplate. This also comes with the M-Power Max. And it's really nice and reflective. I do like that. We also have the SLI cables, the two-way and the three-way. And dare I say it, the four-way. I don't know anyone crazy enough to do 4-way SLI, but good luck cooling that. We also have the eSATA adapter right here, and the Molex connectors I.O. panel. Looks really nice with the black and yellow, also included with the Empower Max. We also have the user manuals, the CDs, and the MSI Bluetooth AC adapter. This is the Intel Wide Eye adapter with the two antennas. We also have the fan holder, which is exclusive to the X Power AC as previously mentioned, and the installation guide is pretty straightforward to follow. Just don't hurt yourself on any of the edges, like I did. Not really. We also have the custom Delid die guard, which does void your warranty, so be careful. The pulse width modulation cooling is also included with this series of the board, with the X power adorned on the top of the heatsink. The military class board has a great design, with the X-Power heatsink, to the PCIe Express layout, and the spatial real estate on the motherboard itself. This is an area that I felt that MSI paid extreme attention to detail to overclockers. The Z97 has these PEX chipset, which is trying to share all these bus lanes, something I'm not a big fan of. But one thing I'm a big fan of is MSI's ingenuity in their design. I definitely love the Della Digar design, and the OC controls are easily accessible at the edge of the board for overclockers who just want a quick way to either reset the system or enter the BIOS right after a restart. 
The I.O. panel comes with a PS slash 2 adapter, 6 USB 3.0 adapters, an Ethernet, 2 internal HDMIs, 1 optical out, 2 more USB 3.0 ports, and 7.1 surround analog output. Overall, I feel that the Z97 X Power AC has a lot going for it in terms of the MSI Z97 lineup. The only thing that really excites us right now is the Haswell E lineup by MSI, and if this board is anything to go by, overclockers have something really truly to look forward to. However, if you're in the market for a Z97 X Power AC or just the Z97 board in general, this one would be a good buy. If you're on a budget, the M Power Max is very similar, minus just two things. Overall, this was not a bad board at all.